In this video, we're going to explore how to fix the error that says permission denial, uh, read external storage. The full text is on your screen right here, uh, but I'm going to give a quick answer and then a slightly longer explanation. What typically will happen is that we will do something like invoke an image gallery and then click on an image, and as soon as we do that, we'll get, unfortunately, our app name has stopped. The answer here is quite simple. We're missing a permission. We are trying to access the user's SD card, and to do that, we have to ask permission when the user first installs our app. We can fix this by adding a simple entry into our Android manifest. We say, uses permission, and then Android name, Android, dot permission dot read external storage and then terminate this line with a slash and a US keyboard to the left of the shift key and then a greater than symbol save and let's try again I navigate to the gallery I select an image and we see now it returns back to the original calling activity and it shows me that image without giving me the error so the simple answer here is android.permission.read external storage we have to add that to the android manifest now if you want to see a little bit more what i recommend is this if you're having trouble snap a breakpoint be sure you're running in debug mode i'm going to remove the permission so we can remember what's going to happen here and i'm going to redeploy now, because I have removed the permission, we're expecting this to fail with, unfortunately, our app name has stopped. But what we want to see is how we can investigate the error. You see, I've clicked on it. I'm going to go back to Android Studio, back to this breakpoint on on activity result, and that is the method that is called when I clicked on the image. I'm going to choose F8, and I'm going to step through one line at a time until I find where the break happens. So we see that I'm trying to read the input stream, and remember, we're expecting this to break. I choose F8, and we see suddenly it jumps to an entirely different set of source code. Here's the important part. I want to mouse over this E. A little plus is going to come up, and if I can hit that plus just right, we're going to see the message that appears. And the message that appears is Java Lang security exception, permission denial, read external storage. So if you're in the emulator and you are getting that your app unexpectedly stopped, this is how I recommend finding out what the problem is. Debug, F8, if you see an exception get caught, mouse over the E and try and figure out what that E is saying. And then you can search from there. I hope this has been helpful. If so, please like, comment, and subscribe.